it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video you'll learn how to easily apply text animation effects to your presentation. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you four examples of ways that you can animate your text. So first we want to select the text so I'm going to go ahead and triple click and select the text in this text box. I do want to point out that you want to experiment with a font that's closer to handwriting. The one I'm using is called Sago Script and there are several fonts that you could select that are a little bit closer to handwriting or you could use one like has like a plain one that looks like printing that will also work well. So once you have your text selected from the animations tab, the first option that I'm going to show you is using the wipe effect. So we're going to select the wipe effect from the entrance animations. And notice that by default, the direction that the wipe is in is from the bottom. So we want to change that. So in effect options, click on the down arrow and select from left. And if you notice, I'll just preview it again, it's quite fast, so we want to slow that down. So to view more options for the wipe animation, we want to go ahead and click on this diagonal arrow here, and that will show us a dialog box with some additional options. In the animate text field in the pull down, instead of all at once, change it to by letter. And I want to change the percent delay between letters from 10 to 60 to slow it down and click OK and let's see how that looks. So that's one option that you can try for animating text and the next option that I'm going to show you is the fade effect. So let me go ahead and delete the animation that we just applied and I'm going to go ahead and select the text again and from the animations tab I'm going to select fade from the entrance animations. And once again, to view additional options for the fade animation, I'm going to click the diagonal arrow under Effect Options. And I want to change Animate Text from All at Once to By Letter. And I'm going to change the percent delay between letters. This time I'm going to change it to 40. And click OK. And there you go. And that would be another example of text animation. The third example I want to show you is called peek in from left. So let me go ahead and delete by clicking on this little number one. Actually, it's already selected, but it's always good to double check and then press delete to remove that animation. I'm going to go ahead and triple click to select the text again. For this next effect, from the animations tab, I'm going to click add animation and under more entrance effects, from the basic group here, I'm going to select Peek In and click OK. And once again, I'm going to click on the diagonal arrow here for additional options. I'm going to change Animate Text to By Letter and I'm going to change this to 40. I also need to change the direction, so let me go ahead and change that instead of bottom. I'm going to change from left. And that's the third example. And then for the fourth example, I'm going to use an effect called Dissolve In. So I'll remove this animation. Another way to remove an animation would be to select the animation the little number here and then select none from the top of the animations here and that would remove the animation. So once again I'm going to select the text and once again I'm going to go into add animation and from the more entrance effects from the basic section I'm going to select dissolve in and click OK and view additional options. Once again, I'm going to change by letter and I'm going to change this to 40.
So that was the last example, and I also wanted to mention that for all the options that I've shown, you can experiment with the percent delay between letters in the animation effect options as needed to increase or decrease the speed. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.